Hey everybody, let's pretend for a second you're at home, just relaxing, watching some Netflix, and you look down at your phone, and a notification lets you know you made 30 bucks from PayPal. Now an hour goes by, and it lets you know you made $50 from PayPal. Wouldn't it be nice not have to do any work and make quick cash? Now I want to show you how you guys can do that through an online business. Now what makes me qualified to talk about this? Well. Um, I'm the owner of Flareboards LLC. I make skateboards, longboards, mini cruisers, and I sell skateboard accessories. Now, what the first step is, you're going to have to come up with an idea. Now, it, this idea also has to just motivate you. I chose the topic skateboarding and actually selling and making skateboards because it really motivated me. I've been skateboarding for about 10 years, and it's just what I love to do. And you have to find that too. You have to find your niche. You have to find... Just what drives you, what will actually make you get out of bed and to work on this. Now, you have to do some research too because you want to find out what would be most profitable for whatever you're deciding to do. And according to a study done by doctors at Yale, if you do what you enjoy, you're more likely to put forth greater effort and productivity. Now, for this video, I'm going to use a clothing store as a quick example. All right. For the main startup of your business, you're going to have to think to yourself, am I going to do this big or small? Now with me, I chose to go an LLC route. Now, what does this mean? What is an LLC? Well, let's back up a little bit and let's start by discussing what a sole proprietor is. Now, a sole proprietor basically um, is just yourself and you uh, manage all the tax the taxes that go through you, you're going to at the end of the year fill out a separate W-2 form and all the tax are going to be done through you and all the liability as well is going to be done through you and all everything is just through you. Now for an LLC, um, it's a little different. An LLC is a limited liability company which means it places all of the liability onto a separate entity. Now this is good because let's take for example, let's say you were to sell um, jam. Now, let's say someone bought the jam and got sick. Now, if they were to sue you and you were a sole proprietor and you didn't make that much money and you kind of just started up, you would not have that much cash in order to, be, to, to pay for the lawsuit at all. And in a sense, they could go after all of your assets and that would kind of be bad. Now, if you're an LLC, there's more of a safety cushion because the liability goes to the LLC and it's just it, instead of it ha having to come after your assets, it goes after that kind of the business. And what you're going to need to do next is, well, first decide, are you, are you going to stay a sole proprietor and move on to an LLC? For this route, for a clothing store, there's not much liability, so I choose actually to go for a sole proprietor. Now, once you chose that, you need to apply for the IRS to get an employee identification number. Now, this is just so you can do your taxes, and it states that it's just a separate entity within, like, it's a company. It's like a person, but it's a company, if that makes any sense. Now, once you do that, you're actually ready to start your online store. Pretty simple. Now, starting an online store is extremely easy and a lot easier than it used to be back in, like, 2004, 2003, when, uh, when it was back coded in HTML. Having to learn all of that was a huge drag. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to start by getting a domain name. Now, a domain name is really easy to get. You can go to whois.com or godaddy.com, and it's just about $10 to get this. And what is a domain exactly? It's just a .com or anything like that to um, like youtube.com, google.com. That's the domain name. And you'll be, able, you'll be able to search which ones are available and which ones you can't take. And it's just about $10, $15 to get the domain name. And after you get the domain name, you're just going to get a hosting service. And now, what is a hosting service and why do I need a hosting service? Well, a hosting service is basically a virtual database that keeps all the files from your business or whatever you decide to do in your, your online store and puts them in like a warehouse, for example. Now, this costs about 60 bucks um, for the first time. So a lot of the times they, not in a sense sucker you in, but get your attention by having a really low price of $60 and then they kind of bump it back up to about $100, but this is per year. So you only have to make the initial 60 bucks. It's not too bad. 
and it's something you will need to start an actual website. Now you can do this and go to InMotion Hosting. I really suggest them because they have 24 hours um, availability for customer service, which is great if you have any questions. <clears throat> but after that, you're gonna need to install a shopping cart. And installing a shopping cart is pretty easy. You can do that through your, in uh, through your uh, uh, hosting service. And they'll have like a little app. It's really user-friendly. And at this point, YouTube is honestly gonna be your best friend. Just take a search. Um, on any kind of tutorials about how to start a website and they'll help you from there. Now you need to think about what you're going to sell and how you're going to sell it. Now for a clothing store idea, if you were to design clothes, let's say you design like all your logos and everything from another person, you could have them get shipped straight back to you and then you can ship them out from your website, whether if someone buys the product and you ship them out yourself. Or you can do this thing called drop shipping, and I highly recommend this thing called drop shipping. And what is drop shipping? Well, drop shipping, in a sense, is let's say your friend um, buys a product on your website. Now, once he buys that product, you get all the money, of course, and you are going to uh, direct his email, his his address to a wholesaler, and you're in a sense are going to buy that object that you have advertised on your website from the wholesaler and get it shipped directly to him. Now, this is great because you don't have to carry any actual inventory at all. And it helps with um, tax, like tax deductibles and everything like that. You won't have to pay a lot in taxes, which will be great. And you don't have to carry all the inventory too. So if you were to spend like thousands, thousands of dollars carrying all the shirts, you wouldn't have to do that. You in a sense would just buy from the wholesaler, get it shipped directly to your friend. Now, that's really good, and I really suggest drop shipping. And according to Indiana state law, and this is a law in my state, I live in Indiana, um, drop shipping from across the lines and internationally is acceptable as long as taxes are done properly. And I obtained this from just the IN.gov. Now, once you have all that set up, you're ready to move on to the fun part, the advertising and marketing. Now this is where you actually sell your product, and which is really cool. Um, you want to start out by making business accounts on all social media platforms that are the main ones like Facebook, Twitter, um, and especially YouTube and Instagram. Um, you want to experiment with which social media sites you like the most, but you still want to be available on all the sites that you can, of course. Now, what works for one platform may not work for another platform. How you get followers on one platform may not be how you get followers on another platform. For example, if you were to post something on Instagram and link it straight to Twitter and Facebook, you wouldn't get just instant followers on Twitter and Facebook because you linked it. Most of the time, those people see it as just kind of like spam spam, so they won't really look at your content. Now, um, you want to do research on what showcases your product the best. Now, for skateboarding, I decided to use Instagram because I'm actually able to put up um, the actual skateboard, show it off, and people can see, and it's just a good community, and especially, it's good for my target audience between the ages of 12 and 18. You want to find out what your target audience is, too. Now, I chose to do Instagram and YouTube for my two social media sites that I focus on the most, and you should too. You should try to focus on just two because you don't want to take on all of them because you'll, you'll kind of get consumed on other ones, and it'll help out if you just focus on two. Now, uh, how you actually get followers, and how do you get a following? How do you even start this? I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you how you guys can do this on Instagram pretty easily. So, you actually want to make content, you want to take pictures, but you also want to use tags use tags, you can also go and do a quick Google search and uh, you can type in like, for my example, you could do skateboarding tags and it would show you the up-to-date ones that are being used the most. So you could do fashion tags for your fashion website business and it would work really well. Now, the main way I get followers is by um, finding someone else that is, is doing really well in like a skateboarding company, like let's say for another example, another skateboarding company, I'll go to their page and when they post something instantly, when I see that they posted something like two minutes ago, I'll see everyone who liked uh, that picture or video and I will follow them 
and most of the time they always follow back and it's great because it's a good community base because they interact almost immediately when they see something and you always want those kind of people you don't want those people that just don't ever hit like or don't ever comment or anything but one thing you should really stay away from is um, buying followers now this is just an empty business you're basically buying the followers so yeah you'll have the pretty number of 10,000 followers but you might get like 10 likes on a video or post and that's just not gonna help a business when you're actually wanting to sell something and I'm just gonna end this video quick by just wishing you guys the best in starting your online company whether that's an actual skateboard company or if it's a clothing company or anything you do now um, hope you guys subscribe to my channel to see more content in the future um, I'm actually going to be doing some collaboration with my friend. We're actually probably going to do this thing called the Skate School. We're going to start up from no knowledge at all about skateboarding and, in a sense, becoming really, really good. Now, um, I would hope you guys check out my Instagram, uh, Flare Boards, so you can see my latest um, skateboard I designed. Design this one. And you can go to flareboards.com to get your own if you are into skateboarding. And this design will be available in longboards too. And just thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.